Hi, my name is Matt Glover and I'm with Dream Spinner Films out in Plant City, Florida. I just want to do a quick review on uh, my new tripod. It is the Davison Sanford 7, 7518B tripod with the FM18 fluid head on it. I just got it today, pulled it out, did a couple of tests with it, um, and I just wanted to kind of go over it with you. Uh, I'm a super frugal filmmaker. I guess you would be able to call me a super frugal filmmaker. Um, the cameras I use are Canon T2Is. I pretty much use them exclusively unless I'm getting uh, paid a lot of money for projects. Um, I'll bust out a RED or, or a, you know, or a Canon 5D or something like that. But uh, for when I do projects exclusively or if I'm doing weddings, I will stick with the Canon T2Is or the Canon 550Ds. Um, I just have the stock lenses on it. Um, most of all my tests are gonna be with my 55 to 250 millimeter Canon lens. Um, so what I wanna do is I just wanna kinda do a quick review over my new tripod. Um, first, I'm gonna go over the main points, which is panning and tilting. The pan and the tilt are super smooth. Um, if this if this isn't a true fluid head, which I, I saw a couple of comments on or reviews, and they said that you know it's not a true fluid head. If it's not a true fluid head, it sure feels like one. Um, the drag uh, is really strong. It gives me a super smooth pan and a super smooth tilt. Um, one of the things I don't like about this tripod is the the little key adjust for the panning. Um, I'm used to uh, using some Manfrotto's. Uh, I have friends who have Manfrotto's, and so I, I've used them on a regular basis, um, but I figured I needed to get one of my own. I have personally been using the Sunpak MX2000, which a lot of people are gonna be like, Matt, why are you using an M a Sunpak MX2000? Those are crap. They are. Um, they're really good for photography because they just sit there. They just stand still. They don't hold a lot of weight. Um, they're really, they're really not meant for video. But you know, my uncle found it. Uh, he brought it home. You know, he gave it to me. It was free, uh, and that's my kind of frugal. So. I was using that. I was able to get some nice, some nice pans and some nice tilts, but you really had to work hard for it. Um, so what? Um, so I decided that I needed to upgrade for myself. I could not afford the Manfrotto. Manfrotto just was not in my price range. Um, it was. It just wasn't feasible for my budget. Uh, so I decided to go with this Davis and Sanford. The Davis and Sanford is a little bit more expensive than a couple of other ones out there because you really, when you're going for a tripod, you're not going to find anything under 120 that looks that has this this look, this professional look to it. Um, some people will argue that this is not a professional tripod. Um, so um, I find it I find it to have the professional qualities that I need for it at this at this moment uh, at this level that I'm at right now. Um, but what I like about it is uh, the legs are super sturdy. Um, it feels it feels really strong. A lot of people complain about the weight of it. Um, I like weight because it makes me it makes me feel comfortable. I feel like it's a sturdy piece of equipment, and it is uh, even compared to Manfrotto legs. I find that these legs are super sturdy. Um, again, the pan and the tilt uh, super smooth. Um, Again, if it's not a fluid, if it's not a true fluid head, it sure feels like one. Um, I do like the adjustment for the tilt. I kind of wish it was a knob, you know, a knob that you'd be able to adjust as far as levels go. This is just kind of, you know, a loosen and tighten deal. Um, but I do, I, I love, I love handles that I can pull out, you know, and move around if I need to. Like if it's bumping up, you know, if it's bumping up against something and I can't tighten it anymore, I like to be able to pull it out and then continue tightening. And you can do that with not only the tilt, but also with the plate as well. Because if it, if it hits your camera, which a lot of, uh, I've used Manfrotto's where, you know, you tighten it down and, you know, your camera gets in the way, I'll have to, I have to back up the plate, tighten it down a little bit more, uh, tighten it down just a little bit, enough where I can still move the plate back up and then tighten it down more but with this one I can just set my plate I can tighten it down to where it doesn't tighten anymore pull it back out you know adjust it and then continue tightening I like that feature um, another thing you'll see that I have my slider on top of my tripod um, with the sun pack it, the Sunpack doesn't hold the weight of this. Um, if you're looking uh, for viable options and you've looked at Sunpacks, um, it's 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 laughable. Um, again, the only reason I use the Sunpack is because it was given to me. Uh, I don't look. I don't look gift horses in the mouth, and I will use whatever I have available to me. Um, 
what I do like is that this one holds my slider. I, if I have a shot, if I have a, an idea for a slider shot, I can use this um, and it holds the weight perfectly. Um, the, five, the 550D or the Canon T2i um, is, super, is super light already and it works perfectly for, for this tripod. I'm sure that this tripod can hold something heavier um, because it can hold this, and I, and I even saw a review where a guy had a 7D on a shoulder rig with some accessories on it and had it mounted to this, and it was still super strong and super sturdy. I don't like that the two the two handles. I really don't like that. Uh, I'm probably going to take this uh, this left one off and just stick with the right one. I like the single handle. If I ever need the double handle, you know, I've got it and I can use it. Um, the plates are really nice. I kind of wish I, I do have a. Couple couple of um, uh, Manfrotto plates that I've used with my friends uh, Manfrotto uh, tripods um, these plates are a little bit bigger uh, so I can't use those but I mean that's the I mean if I didn't have a, those Manfrotto's that it wouldn't be an issue for me um, I watched a review and uh, one of the guys says he didn't like it because it, it wouldn't telescope up and down I don't care about that when I shoot I usually shoot low or I shoot uh, chest high. I really don't go any higher than that unless I want, unless there's a specific shot that I want to get. In that case, I'll telescope the legs up and, you know, or put it onto something and then I'll go down. Um, I haven't pushed it all the way up, um, but right now, I mean, this height is, is a perfect height for me. I love this height. If I can shoot at this height all the time or lower, that's what I'm going to go for. So if it goes higher, that's great because I usually stack my tripods on something else anyway um, so I'm not really worried about the height it, the box says it goes a little over 60 inches um, which is going to be roughly five five feet ish again bullhead I, I like it I, I like the fact that I could set my tripod and if it's off uh, I can level it just by unscrewing the bottom and then leveling it out uh, that's a great feature I love that feature um, I do wish it would get lower. Uh, again, I like low shots, um, and you know, I, I love, especially when I do weddings. I I, I like to get feet uh, on the dance floor or feet coming down the aisle, and uh, this just doesn't get that low. I mean, it gets, you know, the lowest it gets is 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 probably around my waist um, or my or my hip. Um, but it doesn't get any lower than that. I, um, I haven't tried. I haven't tried to spread these out yet or take it off. Um, if it can do that, then that's going to be a great feature. If not, then that's going to be, a, a, you know, one that I'm not going to like. But again, this tripod is going to be great. Um, for, for the purposes uh, that I'm gonna have for it. If I do need to get lower than that, I can always just take this off and put it down on the ground. So that's not going to be an issue for me. Um, so that's it for my review. Um, Again, just a quick run run through panning until if you're thinking about getting uh, this, it's a Davison Sanford. Um, again, I did a lot of research before I bought it, so I can say if you're in the if you're in the 120 price range, just go ahead and bump it up to 160 and go with the Davison Sanford. Don't go with anything else below it uh, because this is you know. I did a lot of research. There was a lot of uh, negatives about the other options, uh, not about this one. This one had a lot of good reviews, uh, a few negatives, but really kind of like what I said, just a couple of nitpicky things. Nothing really, nothing that's going to, you know, that's going to matter later, you know. Uh, this is a viable option for an upgrade. Um, again, uh, my name is Matt Glover. Uh, if I've been... This, this review might have been a little long-winded. It's my first review ever, uh, and I do ramble a lot, so just let me know in the comments below um, you know, what you thought of the review. Uh, please go and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash DreamSpinnerFilms, uh, and also you know, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel. I have another one for our DreamSpinner Films uh, company, and I will put that in the link below as well. Um, just let us know what you th thought of this review. If you have any questions about any of the equipment that you see here or, um, or anything else that you see, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to get back to your, to your, you know, your question as quickly as possible. All right, again, Matthew Glover. Thank you, guys. I've had too much wine for Thursday night. It's only six o'clock. Too early to be kissing outside. It's hard to fight it, though. Oh, when your eyes. I don't care if all New England knows 
that I want you Cause I do Bit of a breeze But it's the brightest April day Southbound tracks We're pulling away I bet they'd all agree 